Let's talk about the uh, commercial insurance still going up. This is a new record that we've seen, and I'm sure we'll probably see a new one soon too. But yeah, um, oh, um, actually, please watch this on Thursday uh, with Jeffrey right here. Um, I did a behind the wheel today. You guys can see it on Thursday at 8 a.m. Rides is another company that's a rideshare company who's really willing to step up. If rides can get it set up in Minneapolis, their platform is old school, miles and minutes, rate card, beautiful. So they could be set up. And yes, yes, Jeffrey, we're, we're, we're actually talking about that. Um, so um, the <laughs> we're talking like <laughs> Chris. Um, okay, the, the right, the left screenshot is the screenshot of the trip, right? We're done with the trip. You earn more for the trip because you got a wait time fee. That's not the point we're trying to raise here. Um, what is the uh, commercial insurance on this trip? 30, 30. Uh, where is it? 38.55. Okay, so so uh, actually we got them all. Okay, the, the, you have one more of these, right? Yep. That was okay. the highest that we had. And then there's another one that's even higher now. There's fifty dollar one now. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, people, look at this. People, please look at this. Uber. Even if you're telling me that all of that is commercial insurance, I'm not buying. Okay, so this is California. Uber says California, full of uh, ambulance chasers. We're in huge trouble. Our rates keep going up. Okay, six months ago, not more than that. Six months ago, there is a booking fee that's charged to the consumer on each trip. Okay, that's a fact. And that driver does not touch that. Here's what's happening. That, that had a cap between three minimum, 10 maximum. Okay. Then it went, went from three minimum to 20. Then it went out of control. This is one of the last ones I got. Here's a trip. 34.3 miles, two hours and 12 minutes or 94 miles. I can't even see now, but that's not the point. Uh, Look 30, at the right. How many miles? 34. 34 miles, okay? 34 miles, 2 hours and 12 minutes. That's what happens in LA traffic. Look at the right side, people. Okay, so look at the, this is the breakdown. Passenger paid 153, 154. Driver got 72. Um, dollars per mile is good by hour, probably not so much, but then it is what it is. There is a $79 um, California Prop 22 benefits, which the consumer is paying for it. It's not the it's not Uber paying out of their pocket for Prop 22, although they did say they were going to. Here's the here's the big one: fifty dollars Uber. Fifty dollars a mile. It's over a That's dollar a dollar mile. and a half a mile. Uber is paying Chris dollar and a half a mile. That's for, insane for commercial insurance. What the f Uber? I mean, fifty dollars. I, I think there's some cooking of the books. Well. I, I need it. I mean, look, okay. So, you know, you know how Uber is in Minneapolis complaining that the rates will go up, the rates will go up, right? And that's going to be paying more to the drivers. Look at this. $50 this rider paid for commercial insurance for P3, 50 for a single trip Uber. We can buy our own insurance and be more profitable. Why don't you give me that 50 bucks? Let me go buy my own commercial yeah. insurance. If I'm doing 150 trips a week, I I don't know or what's what's happening here, right? And and then um, there is a 10 cent city fee, so that that way Uber makes their take rate look like it's only 31 dollars, right? So Uber calculates it this way. This number, by the way, people was capped at 10 six months ago. Then it went to 20. Then we lost track. Now I'm seeing 50 for a single trip. No, I'm not buying it. And that $50, by the way, is the same number as the booking fee. How much of that Uber is actually commercial insurance? It can't be 50. At your scale, at your size, you cannot be paying $50 for this no. trip for commercial insurance. It just can't be. I mean, it just can't be. So we need answers. I'm digging into this. I really am really, really, really hard because look, if this driver had his own commer or her own commercial insurance, okay, in California, probably about a thousand to twelve hundred a month. But if uh, uh, just pay me this, pay me this fifty Uber. Don't charge the passenger. That way, the fares will go down, and I'll make more. 
I mean, there has to be something happening here that that is a solution. I mean, I'm not saying they're double dipping, Chris. Okay, but the rider fares are going up because of that fifty. So, what the breakdown of that fifty is not clear to me. I'm saying that it's not only commercial insurance. I'm saying it's booking fee, credit card fee, and commercial insurance. And according to them, clearly, I've been told. All of it is commercial insurance search. Mm. You guys believe it? You guys believe that? I don't believe it anymore. I, I, I find I, it a bunch of bullshit. 50 bucks for 31 miles, bro? No, that I, makes I no sense. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So there we are. But uh, yeah. Unless Uber, somebody is like that bad at accounting. Bad accounting, shenanigans, all kinds of things. Could possibly, possibly. I don't know. So yep. yeah. Yeah. Um, Look at this. Check the Mr. Gambit. He's a great LA driver. Just think, ten thousand people paying. Well, it's more than that. Uber, Mr. Gambit. That's not the one. Wherever, where did he go? Anyway, uh, right here. Uh, just think, ten thousand people. Are victims of, yeah. Uh, I mean, look, we we did the back of the envelope calculations. We're good at those things. You know, we said um, Uber did two point seven billion trips last quarter. Okay, sixty uh, percent plus was in the U.S. All right. So let's say billion and change. I don't know, billion and eight, 1.8 billion. The minimum commercial insurance in California on Uber and Uber's top market is California. 25% of the revenue comes from California. There's a $3 minimum on that and hundreds of millions of trips a quarter times three, hundreds of millions. Is that why you're paying in premiums? I'm not buying it. I really am not. So we need to figure this out. This could be a huge story. This could be a, another Prop 22 story. I mean, I, I, at their scale, how are you you guys paying so much for insurance? I, I, and we know that insurance is like Swiss cheese. We had Brian on two weeks ago, three weeks ago. He said the driver is not even covered <laughs> in P3. I was shocked. That million dollars, he goes, is for the other side. It's not for the driver. I'm like, wow. And the $2,500 deductible. I think I can get similar or better insurance. If Uber floats me that 50, that booking fee, you know, mm-hmm. give me that 50. Give me that 50. You know, uh, I'll make more money. Uh, that way you don't have to raise rates. You don't have to get into all these Minneapolis legislation, all that stuff. There has to be a way. We have to test that out. I agree. I think that would be a good idea. All right. Thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.